Whoa, hey guys, your coffee-loving Kudo-kun is back once again to blow off some steam and look into some stuff. Uh, things look different once again. It's almost like this is a horribly inconsistent idea where I don't have a really good frame of reference for what I want to do, but that's okay. Basically, this is for me to vent and blow off some steam and do something fun before bed, so I can forgive some of its more technical errors. Basically, um, today I've actually been thinking a lot about the PlayStation 5, mainly because I've been just so on the Xbox hype train over these last few months that I decided that, you know what, I don't really know enough about the PlayStation 5 launch, so I'm going to come and learn a little bit about it. So we're just going to hang out for a few minutes. I'm going to look over this article that talks about the launch. I haven't actually read this article yet. Uh, I essentially just opened it and then started recording. So let's take a look. All PS5 games available at launch. That's basically what we're here for. This is kind of the obvious stuff that we know. Um, it's already on sale, starting November 12th. Yep, yada yada. Uh, very, very difficult to get one in my area, as you can probably imagine, but not as impossible as you might think. They're actually going in my area for between $700 and $900, and even though that's a lot compared to what they're actually selling for, um, there are people out there ready to like give up their left arm in order to get a PS5, so I actually think $700, if I had $700 on me right now, I think I might actually kind of go for it. You know, <laughs> that's just kind of a random thought. I think $700 is kind of a decent enough deal right now, but we'll see. So, all right, here's the exclusive games. This is mainly what I'm interested in. So Astro's Playroom, um, Astro is definitely one of the things that I'm looking forward to the most, but I'm really only interested in Astro as a VR title. So I'm not sure how I feel about this, and ooh, I don't know if I want to play a trailer, because I don't really want to get in too much trouble, but here we go. I'll skip through a little bit, you'll get to see some of my recommended videos there, which is sort of giving up some of the uh, stuff that I'm into. Team Asobi, that's a very, very fun name if you don't know. Asobi is Japanese for um, essentially hang out, have fun, play around, that kind of thing. All right, so definitely not seeing any VR. Looks very little big planet E. Oh no, don't go. All right, looks very little big planet E. Um, that's cute. I get it. I get it. I see what you did there, guys. Um, it's gonna be a good time. It's free. It's available already pre-installed on PS5, so I can't really complain about it. Uh, it does look like a fun way to spend some time if you haven't actually gotten any launch titles yet. Demon Souls, of course, like the rest of the world, this is the one I'm most excited for. I remember back when I played the original Demon Souls, I really wanted to love it, and I did have a lot of fun with it, but I never ended up beating it, mainly because I just wasn't really into that kind of game. If I'm being completely honest, I haven't really beaten any of the Dark Souls games or any of the Soulsborne games, I guess we're calling them now. But I would love to go back and give Demon's Souls another chance, because I did kind of love Demon's Souls for its hub world. I think that was a really cool addition. Um, I know a lot of people probably don't feel that way, but me personally, I actually think the hub world in Demon's Souls made it really cool, so we'll see. Uh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. I actually have not played the Spider-Man game for PS4 yet still. I don't know what's wrong with me. I definitely need to find it and play it. Um, Spider-Man is my favorite superhero of all time, but I am looking forward to this game, mainly because of Spider-Verse, obviously. Spider-Verse was awesome, I'm guessing this is going to be awesome too. Sackboy, a big adventure, going to be completely honest with you guys here, not really interested in this, like, at all. I love Little Big Planet. I love it to death. It's one of the most fun times that I've had on the PS3 in all of my years of owning it, and I still have so many good memories of playing it. But I didn't play it for Sackboy. The character of Sackboy is not exactly one that I connected with on an emotional level, you know? It's not really like I care about Sackboy himself. I really just like the model of making levels and then playing them online. You could find some really interesting stuff online, but I guess now that they've moved on to making dreams, that's where I'm going to have to go for um, player-created content. I don't know. I'm definitely not interested in this until it goes on sale, but maybe one day I will be. Alright, so some third-party games available for launch. 
Um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I am so far behind on Assassin's Creed, I don't even know if I want to try getting into a modern day Assassin's Creed game, if I'm being honest. Like, the last one I played is 4. Yeah, I've got a lot of catching up to do before I start even thinking about a new Assassin's Creed game here. Which sucks, because one of them took place in Egypt, and Egyptian mythology is my favorite, so darn. Got a lot of catching up to do, though. Definitely not looking at this for a while. Borderlands 3, old news. Bug Snacks, free with PlayStation Plus. Whoa! Um, I'm actually kind of upset about this. This makes me want to go out and get a PS5 now. <laughs> I'm, being, I'm being absolutely serious. Maybe... Okay, so I'm probably not going to be able to get my hands on a PS5, but I wonder if I could convince somebody to log in on my PlayStation Plus account and actually snag me this Bug Snacks, because uh, I am actually really interested. I Obviously, I don't think it's going to be a great game, but I'm just morbidly curious about it is better. Dead by Daylight, old news, Devil May Cry 5, eh. I mean, like, I don't really want to get into a whole like censorship thing here, but this game was pretty heavily censored on the PS4. I'm guessing it's still going to be pretty heavily censored on the PS5. And um, I still haven't played Devil May Cry 4, and I'd like to play that first, so probably hold off on this one. Dirt 5, don't care. Fortnite, don't care. Why Why even Why even list this? It's a free-to-play downloadable game. Why would, you, why would you even bother listing it here? That doesn't make any sense to me. Godfall, I don't know what that is. Let's learn together. Okay, um, da, da, da. hopefully nothing risque pops up. Um, looks a little bit generic. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't, I don't think I'd be getting this over Demon Souls, but it does look kind of fun. Give me one second here. Sorry, I should probably mute this. Never mind. I take it back. It looks pretty fun. I still don't think I would get it over Demon Souls, but uh, I think that looks like a good time. I'll have to check that one out too. Godfall, you are now on my radar. Gunya Fighter. Um. Okay. Well. <laughs> uh, I've uh, sorry. All of my goodwill has been used up on Godfall, unfortunately. Gunya Fighter. Maybe you're a good game, but I'm definitely not going to find out anytime soon. King Oddball. Wow. Whoa. Yep. This is what I get next-gen consoles for. Well, let's uh, just move on from there. Man Eater. Oh, that's that shark game. Never mind. All right. No interest whatsoever. NBA, even less interest somehow. No Man's Sky. I am interested in playing this. Um, obviously, like the rest of the world, I've seen Internet Historian's video on how this game is actually sort of uh, a little bit of a hidden gem because Sean Murray, turns out, is actually kind of a cool guy. But I'm not interested in playing this until I play the VR version, so probably not going to happen for a little while here. Um, Observer, System Redux... Uh, I don't remember what this is... Oh, now I remember. Not really that interested. Overcooked, not interested. The Pathless, um, I don't remember what this is either. Looks okay. Um, I could be interested. I'll keep an eye out for it. It, it does look pretty neat. Planet Coaster, not interested. Warhammer, not interested. Uh, not interested in this for sure. Watch Dogs Legion, I am interested in. Um, I'm one of the few people in the world who actually kind of really liked the first Watch Dogs. I know it had a lot of problems, but I don't know. I thought it was a good time. Watch Dogs 2 was even better. Watch Dogs Legion should be a rip-roaring good time. Uh, games included in PlayStation Plus Collection. One of the new features that Sony has prepared for its latest device is the PlayStation Plus Collection, which is a new offering included in the PlayStation Plus program at no additional cost. Huh. PS5 console owners with an active PS Plus membership will be able to access 20 games that, as Sony say, define the generation. Okay, you have my attention. Oof. Bloodborne. I already own it, but okay. Days Gone. I already own that, too. Oh, man. Why are all of these games that I already own? Okay. 
So, um, I haven't played this or this. Last Guardian? Yeah, okay. Well, what did this say here? Um, defined a generation, right? Defined the generation. The Last Guardian. Yeah, the Last Guardian definitely defined the generation. Okay, guys, thank you. Luckily, you have all of these other games to back it up, because nobody in their right minds thought that Last Guardian defined anything. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, Last of Us, a little tired of Last of Us. Um, Until Dawn, I, I actually respect this. I respect this a lot. I loved Until Dawn, but then again, I'm into the sort of playable movie genre of games, so I really respect the fact that they would consider it here, although um, the fact that Last Guardian is here too sort of invalidates us a little bit. Why is this here? I can't stop looking at it. I can't even read the rest of the article. I'm just so enamored with the fact that this is even here. Um, Uncharted 4, obviously a great game. Third parties, woo! Batman Arkham Knight. Um, a weird flex, but okay. I definitely don't think I would have chosen Arkham Knight if I was going to choose an Arkham game. I'd probably go with Arkham City, but maybe they just think that game is too old by now. Battlefield 1, yawn. Call of Duties, yawn. Um, Insane Trilogy, this is not a yawn. This is actually really cool. Uh, Fallout 4, really good choice. Final Fantasy 15. Highly, highly underrated game. I still don't understand why this game doesn't get more love, but whatever, I guess. Uh, to be fair, this game is nowhere near as good as the Final Fantasy VII Remake, so I guess you guys get a pass on this one, because the Final Fantasy VII Remake was a masterpiece. Mwah! Masterpiece. Monster Hunter World, very, very, very good choice. I'm very glad to see this. In fact, this is probably going to breathe a lot of life into the... Um, online play, because there's probably a lot of people who missed out on Monster Hunter World who will play it now that it's part of this free deal right here. Mortal Kombat 10, yawn. I'm sorry guys, I love fighting games and I'm okay with Mortal Kombat, but uh, just definitely not my thing. Um, Persona 5, okay. Um, this is fine, I guess, but it does upset me a little bit that they wouldn't just go balls deep and make this the... Uh, Darn it, what is it called? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I'm about to lose so much credit right here. Royale? Persona 5? Oh my gosh, I am so sorry, guys. Persona 5 Royal. There, Royal, it is Royal. Okay, cool. Sounds, sounds good, my dude, sounds good. Uh, let's see here. Resident Evil 7, yeah, that one works too. Backwards compatibility? Am I, about, am I about to eat my words here? Is this about to become uh, a word buffet? Uh, the new PS5 is compatible with over 4,000 PS4 titles. Not good enough. Sorry guys, just I, I really hate to be a downer on this, but that is not good enough. Um, the Xbox just came out here saying, hey, you know what? We're going to have games available from back when the Xbox first released. Um, there is absolutely no good excuse as to why there can't be PS1 and PS2 games on this. I can almost make an argument for PS3 because PS3 games were made with a very, very weird, janky system that made the system very difficult to develop for, but there's literally no excuse for not having PS1 and PS2 here. Um, and honestly, I won't hear anybody say otherwise. Uh, PS4 titles, it's fine, I guess. 4,000, that's a very specific number. I, I didn't even realize there were 4,000 PS4 titles out, if I'm being completely honest. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess it's good that it's backwards compatible. This means that I can probably sell off my PS4 to help fund a PS5 in the near future. So, yeah, looks like that's about it. What are my thoughts? Um... I mean, in my personal opinion, uh, I still don't think the PS5 is going to be as good of a deal as the Xbox, but um, again, like always, like every single console generation before this, these exclusives are so much better than the Xbox One. 
um, sorry, not Xbox One. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting my, I'm getting my generations mixed up a little bit. Uh, whatever Xbox has out right now, the Xbox Series X, the Xbox Series S, these exclusives kind of kick the crap out of it a lot. Um, and I really like the idea of this uh, Plus collection. I hope they add more to it, and I hope none of these are going away. Because if the way that they plan on this working is this being like a mini PlayStation Now where these games start filtering out and you can lose access to these, I think that's a horrible decision. Um, but if these are just games that you will always have access to no matter what, this is a really good decision and I'm actually really happy with it. But yeah, um, I'm very, very optimistic about the PS5. And like I said before, I am planning on getting both at some point anyway. This will probably be the first console generation since the original Xbox, PS2, and GameCube were having their bout that I've actually actively owned all three consoles because I do love my Switch and um, I am excited to get both a PS5 and an Xbox. I'll probably just be getting an Xbox first because it is a slightly better deal, but this is good stuff here too. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my coffee. Uh, if you'll just give me a quick second here. Man, that's good caffeine. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out of here, uh, get this video edited, get this coffee finished, and get to sleep. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you have any thoughts on the PS5, I guess leave that in the comment section below. I love it when you guys comment and I get the chance to talk to you even more about this stuff here. Um, also, if you're interested, I do talk on other social media platforms too. My Facebook is readily available, my Discord is readily available, so if there's anything you guys ever want to talk about, please feel free to hit me up. Uh, leave the video a like. I suppose that does help my metrics, but then again, these videos are, like I said before, kind of just for me, so you don't have to worry about liking it if you don't want to. But do subscribe if this is your first video and you would like to stay up to date on the latest Kodoku news. Alright, catch you guys later.